Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will be building the UI for the login and sign up page. So the first thing that we want to do is to come over to flat icon over here and let's uh, search for this icon called equal. So we want a equal uh, icon over here and let me select uh, which one shall I choose? Uh, maybe this one, I think this is good. Let's select this one over here and let's uh, download the PNG file. Okay, I, I usually tend to select the biggest one. It doesn't really matter. Let's click on the PNG and um, it's gonna be downloaded into my downloads folder, all right? So let me just quickly open this up okay put it in my desktop okay so if you see over here we have this equal mathematical sign i think that is the image that i've downloaded and i'm just going to change it to i c equal all right i think that's easy to understand let's come over to the assets uh, folder and let me just drag this right in here all right so we have i m which stands for image and we have i c that stands for icon all right, so let's come over here to the main.storyboard under the uh, login sign up uh, a view. Let's just remove this label because we don't need that anymore. And uh, I think the first thing we want to do is also just to create a, uh, a file. Uh, okay, so let's right click on controller and let's select Swift file. And let's select uh, sign up. Okay, maybe let's do login view controller. I think this is uh, an okay name. All right, let's click on the create button over here. And let's not forget to import UI kit class and login view controller. All right, I think we'll use this login view controller to handle the sign up as well. It doesn't really matter. And let's inherit the UI uh, view controller. Okay, same drill. We're gonna do view did load, super dot view did load, and then over here maybe I can just do view dot background color and maybe uh, let's do uh, purple. All right, so let me copy the login view controller, come over to the main.storyboard, click on this over here, and let's just assign the login view controller right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna run the project to ensure that it shows up purple. Uh, this is uh, one way that we know that uh, the integration is uh, successful. All right, click the get started button. Yep, we have the purple view, we are good to go. Okay, let's come back to the login view controller and remove the purple view because uh, it is a little, a little bit hideous. <laughs> let's come back to the main.storyboard. I think most of the uh, most of what I want to cover in this video is mostly UI. So let's uh, create a image view over here. So image view, let's bring that in somewhere to the top okay i think let's put that in the center and let's set some constraints over here okay so we want the width and the height to be 20. all right the uh, top anchor will be uh let's do maybe eight okay i i, I would suggest that you follow my uh my constraints and then you can just make your, your own uh, adjustments once this app is completed all right, so let's set with this uh, 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 numbers over here and click on add three constraints. And then the last thing we want to do is to just uh, set this horizontally in the container. All right, so we have a small little, let me zoom this in and we have a small little image view just right at the top over here. Okay, for this one, I want to do the IC equal, oops, not, for, not, not the custom class. I need to click on the property inspector and under image IC equal. Okay, I have it right here. Okay, so the reason why I want to put this image view over here is so that, you know, uh, let me just run this. It kind of gives a visual cue that, you know, you can tap on this and do something with, uh, with it. Right, so let me just quickly show you what it does. So, you know, I am very tempted to click on this and hey, I realize that I can move this up and down. So this is a more of a visual cue, a more UX thing for the users who are using your app, all right? It's just a personal preference. Okay, so what I what is next is I'm gonna click the plus button again and I want to bring in a segmented control. So just type in segment, segment and it should filter the segmented control over here. Click and drag it right in the middle and uh, let's also add some constraints over here click on this and let's do um, 16 from the top <clears throat> okay and let's click on add one constraint and let's click on this one over here to just uh, align it horizontally in the container all right that should do i think i want to change the, the text over here so let's click on the segmented control come over to the property inspector over here and under the segment zero dash first i want to type in login 
and let's select the drop down segment let's select the uh, segment one it shows second and over here I want to do sign up all right so this allows the user to toggle uh, whether he wants to log in or to sign up and log in will be the first uh, and the default screen okay the next thing we want to do is we want to create a couple of text fields so let's just search for text fields and let's drag that in okay so let's drag it a little bit uh, more to the left and the right and uh, I'm gonna change a couple of uh, properties over here so under the fonts I'm gonna change this to custom and for the family again we're gonna use Avenir next and uh, maybe let's just use 16 for the time being and I think regular should be fine okay and let's click on this and let's um, maybe set a height over here and I'm gonna set 56 as the height Okay, let's uncheck the constraint to margin and click on add one constraint. All right, so I'm gonna again hold on to the alternate uh, key on my keyboard, click on it and drag. So I'm gonna duplicate the uh, the text view over here, and then once this is done, I'm going to just highlight all of them and put them into a stack view. So I'm gonna click this over here and select stack view, and this automatically groups them together in a stack view. Alright, so I'm going to bring the stack view somewhere in the middle. I know it looks, it doesn't really look right here, but let's fix that. Let's click on this uh, add new constraints and we want to do uh, maybe uh, 24 from the top and uh, let's do 48 from the sides. Okay, okay, and for the height, we don't really need to set this uh, at this point in time. Let's click on add three constraints and before you do that, just ensure that we are selecting the stack view to perform this uh, to add this uh, new constraints we're not selecting any of the uh, uh, elements within the stack view itself so this is important to note let's click on add three constraints and boom it looks pretty decent now okay and probably let's also uh, fill in some of the placeholder here so i'm just going to type in email and let me just uh, align it center align it to the center over here i'm going to put in password Okay, align to the center and uh, let's do that. Let's type in password confirmation. All right, so it looks pretty decent now. Okay, so we have the stack view over here. I'm gonna add in a couple of other elements over here. All right, so the first thing I wanna put in is actually a label. Okay, so what I can do is I can click on the label and I can drag it right below the uh, password confirmation and just ensure that you see when I move a bit to the left, it is, uh, this is incorrect. I want to move it just below the password confirmation. Okay. Uh, again, I want it. I want to uh, uh, re-explain. Don't do it this way. We want it this way. All right. You notice the left hand side of the blue color uh, uh, line. Okay. So when I release this, this will also be inside the stack view itself. All right. So same thing. I'm going to uh, align this to be align this on the center. I'm going to change the font, uh, go to custom, family, Avenir next again. And um, I'm going to make this a, a, a smaller font. So uh, let me just drag this a little bit over here. I'm going to make this maybe, um, maybe let's say trough. All right. So, and also I want to change the color. So let me just come down to, oh, not down over here under the color. Let me just select a system rate color. All right. So this will be a error message if uh, we have one. Okay. So this, uh, this is where we're going to show it. And I'm just going to put in a sample error message. Uh, I'm going to type in something like your credentials, your credentials are incorrect. Okay. This is just a sample uh, placeholder over here. All right. So I'm going to put in uh, some buttons over here. So I'm going to click on the plus button over here and I'm going to filter it by button. And I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to just put it down at the bottom. All right, so we have a button over here. And then I can also hit on the alternate button, click on this and just drag it down. And this also allows me to duplicate. All right, uh, if you're having trouble with this, what you can do is just click on this and you can also drag this down here as well, I believe. Right, okay, it, uh, yeah, this, this methods work as well. All right, so for the first button, I'm just going to rename this to forget password with a question mark. And again, I'm going to change the font to custom. Family will be Avenir next. 
and uh, I think uh, let's leave it at uh, size 16 I think it's fine and style will be regular let's click the done button okay this buttons I'm gonna type in I'm gonna I'm gonna rename it to sign up and then this the last button I'm just gonna rename it to lock in all right so we want to change the background color for sign up let's come over here to the property inspector and under background itself I want to select um, system T color okay so system T color is for the background and um, I want to change the font as well um, let's change it to Avenir Nix again uh, the font size I think 16 is fine as well all right so uh, I want to increase the height of the button so what I can do is to click on the sign up button itself come over here click on this one to, to add a new constraint and just click on height over here and I'm going to set this to 56 all right click on add one constraint and this uh, should expand uh, last but not least I want to change the text color to white okay and maybe for the font um, style I think we could do with a medium all right, I think that's a little bit more prominent. I'm going to do the same to the login button. Uh, instead of me uh, inputting all these fonts and, and color, what I can do is that I can just delete the uh, login button and just duplicate the sign up button. Again, same thing I can do, hold on to the alternate key, click on it and drag down and let go. All right, so I have the another sign up button, but this time I'm just going to change it to login and I'm just going to change the color so you know lock-in has to be green so let's select system green color all right so this is what we have over here all right guys this is all I have for you in this video uh, I hope you are able to get uh, the elements uh, displayed correctly and uh, let me know if you have any questions and let me see if there's something else I want to do yeah for the spacing let's also just change this to 16. all right guys I think uh, this is good and I'll see you in the next lecture